Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're back on Mac OS doing some Apple Script. Uh, we're going to do some web scraping actually, um, but this is more uh, an intro with how to kind of input stuff, open new tabs. And then I'll do another video if you all like this one on how to actually like grab the data. Um, this is more of just the beginning. So we're going to be using our script editor here that should be built into Mac OS for you. I already got some of the code done, so we're just going to paste that and enlarge it, if I can remember how to do that. Oh, yep. Command plus symbol. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, we're just using Apple Script here. Um, we're going to be targeting Chrome. Um, obviously, you can change it to whatever. Uh, some of the syntax might change a bit, but we can always do another video on that. Uh, so right here, we're just starting out with the uh, beginning of our function, tell application. And in parentheses here, put Google Chrome. Make sure you have a space in there. Uh, activate, that basically is just saying, make sure it's running, bring it to the front. We're, we're going to target that window. So tell window one, basically meaning whatever the last one that um, I used, it's going to be pulled to the front. Uh, you can obviously change that um, to whatever. Uh, so just play around with that. Um, but yeah. So set new tab. Uh, so we want to open a new tab. You can just say set tab to uh, change the current tab, but we're just going to open a new tab. To make new tab with the properties, URL, and we're just using this test website. Um, you obviously put whatever URL in there you want. Uh, delay five seconds. Uh, the reason we want to do that is because it might take a second or two for the page to load. This is unfortunately something you just got to play with and find out what works best. Uh, but five seconds hopefully should work. If not, we can change it. Uh, now, what do we want to do with the active tab? Well, we're going to tell the active tab to execute some JavaScript. Um, and then in parentheses here, or sorry, I keep saying parentheses, quotations, uh, we're going to use some JavaScript. So document dot query selector in parentheses now, input name, username, value student. Um, so yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Let me enlarge that a little bit more. Um, and how do you get this? This is the field uh, username. That's the input name. Um, so what we can do is copy and paste this URL. Uh, go to the website. So let's do that. Um, so we're going to go here and as you can see um, you can right click on username, inspect, it's going to pop up a little window here, and it's going to automatically highlight the field that you right clicked on. Um, so as you can see, the input uh, ID is username, um, password one is right here, so that's probably in the drop down, Hopefully. I know this is a little hard to read on here, but uh, yeah, password is, the ID is password. So that's fine. So we already got those, so you just replace here with whatever the field's called, right here with whatever the other field's called. And you can make as many as you want if you're filling out an entire form. Uh, same thing, we're going to get that submit. The ID is, uh, you know, get element by ID. It is submit. And what do we want to do? We just want to click it. Um, Intel. So this Intel is ending this one. This Intel is ending this one, and our final one is ending the whole thing from the beginning of Tell Application. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to push play. Uh, you can compile too, actually, if you want to see uh, a little bit better with uh, syntax highlighting. Unfortunately, it does take it back to the regular font size, which is annoying. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, and as long as it did what it just did, it means there's no errors. If there is, it'll tell you kind of where it is. It's not great at it, but everything went smooth, we're going to push play, opens the browser, goes to that URL, it waits the five seconds, and then as you see it puts the name in there and it push submit and says logged in successful. Uh, so this is great, obviously you can use it to fill out way more stuff, a lot more forms and whatnot. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's take a look at another one, uh, current tab, um, that one was for signing in, this one's a little bit simpler in that all we're really doing here is um, telling the uh, application Google Chrome to activate, tell window one to set the URL. So this is basically the same thing, but we're not opening a new page. Uh, we're just opening, 
whatever the current tab is. So let's go back to a different page here, the main part. And we'll go ahead and go back to here. Compile. Looks like it did good. We're going to push play. It's going to automatically do there. And all that did right there was just change it to that page. Uh, this one I like to use a lot for logging in the first time. Maybe I'm switching to work mode or something. I can just run a script with all the different URLs I want. And it'll uh, kind of set it up how I want. Obviously, you can do that in Chrome, but this can be helpful if you're opening multiple applications. Um, so yeah, so that one's pretty simple. And let's take a look at our last one. And if you like this video, definitely like it. The more likes I get on a video, it lets me know what you guys are looking at. Um, so I know to maybe uh, expand on it. And like I said, this is kind of very basic intro to web scraping. We're not really scraping anything yet, but we will be in the future. Uh, but this is good stuff to know right now. Uh, let me compile it and redo the text. There has to be a way to permanently change this. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. Um, so on this one, kind of doing the same thing. Um, we're just going to be doing a whole new window, uh, where before we were messing around with the window that already exists. So once again, tell application, make sure you Intel, Google Chrome, activate, and then we're just going to say make new window. Set UR of active tab of window one, two, and we're just using the same website because why not? Uh, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna push play on that. And as you saw, it quickly opened it, went to that URL, and this is a completely new tab because you can see there's no more tabs from my other one that I had open. Um, so yeah, and if Chrome's not running at the moment, it will just automatically launch it, which can affect your delay um, because then Chrome has to load before it can go to the website. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind um, of what you're doing. And make sure that you're good there. Just realized my green screen is being really bizarre. Uh-oh. Oh, well, not much I can do on that. Um, I'm working on a new computer, obviously, a Mac OS, so it's not great. Um, but, hey, you're looking at the code more than me. You don't need to see me, honestly. Um, but, yeah, I'll play around with that and see if I can get it working a little better. It's a lighting issue, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see anything specific in macOS, obviously I plan to do like one or two more web scraping videos uh, using Apple Script. But uh, I maybe am planning one more video in uh, the Automator program that comes built in with macOS. But if there's something else automation-wise that you want to see, maybe a Chrome extension or something like that, definitely let me know in the comments below. I haven't used a Mac in probably 15 years. I used to always have one, but I just kind of got this one randomly recently uh, from a family member, so I would like to expand out to that world and see what you guys like. Um, yeah, hit me up in the comments below, give me some ideas, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!